Hey everyone, so I thought I would kind of do a drill with me. Um, I haven't been able to do any drilling for a few days, almost a week. You know, I haven't been feeling very well, so anyhow, so much going on with, you know, all of this YouTube and, you know, finding out that even if you state that this isn't for kids, it doesn't mean that you are, um, protected and just, like, I don't know, I'm not going to get completely into all of that, but it really is just starting I don't know I don't it's really getting you know a lot of people upset and it's getting me upset because I do mark mine that they're not my videos aren't intended for children and I state that um, I also have a, a Ben putting in my videos that this isn't intended for children you know, must be 18 and older, blah, 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 but apparently even that, you know, can, isn't a hundred percent that you can still be reliable. And I mean, I, I look at it this way, you know, and I've got a 13 year old, well, she's almost 13 and I watch what she, you know, watches on YouTube and I've had to ground her from it as well because I've caught her watching things that you know she's not allowed to it's not hard for kids to sit there and state yeah I'm 18 or older I mean come on you know they can put a birth date of any kind you know and the creator themselves shouldn't be responsible for that the parents need to be responsible for their own kids and for the action of their own kids you know, just like I'm responsible for my daughter. You know, like I said, I've had to ground her from, you know, her phone and from YouTube. Because I have caught her watching things that I don't deem appropriate for her to watch. Now, but these ones are directed for kids. But to me, it's not appropriate. So I, and she knows that I don't agree with it. So I... You know, when I catch her still watching it, then she gets grounded. I mean, now she's learned that, okay, hey, if I want to still be able to watch YouTube, I can no longer watch, you know, things that my mama and daddy doesn't want me to watch. It's that simple. Be a parent, you know, take care of your kids and watch what they're, you know, pay attention to what they're watching. You know, it's not that hard. You know, my daughter lost her cell phone because she was watching things that she wasn't supposed to be watching. That's simple. You know, be a parent. You know, you catch, you know, it's not hard to get on and look at the history. It really isn't. It is not that hard to get on and see the history of what your kids are watching. I mean, I can right now get on and I can see exactly what my daughter has been watching. And she knows that, you know, so, you know, get on, pay attention, you know, to what your kids are doing. You be your own kid's babysitter. Don't allow, you know, the computer or the phone, you know, to be your child's babysitter, you know. You need to be your own kid's babysitter. I'm just saying. Anyhow, enough of that rant. Um, I have got so many videos that I need to get posted. I am not even close to having it done. But um, I'm getting there slowly. I was sick for a few days, and then I was bit by something, not sure what bit me, so I had to take some Benadryl, 
for a couple of days, and that just knocks me out for days. I mean, just completely knocks me out. So I was rendered useless for about three days because of that. Now I'm feeling okay. So I'm trying to knock out videos. My in-laws come up the other day and, oh, when you're not feeling good, you know, I love my in-laws, but when you're not feeling good, you just don't want to entertain, you know, but they understood. I mean, they knew that I wasn't feeling well, so they understood, you know, that where I was, you know, at, but, um, so that was nice my daughter has now finally started her new school she's going on her second week now because her first week was last week and it was only for um let's see wednesday thursday and friday friday she um see what is today today is november 20th um so last friday she got to uh go to a dance and a couple of her friends that she has made went with her and she come back and had just I mean she was over the moon she was dancing and showing us what you know how they were dancing and what they were dancing to and doing the the floss and I mean as I me and my husband looked at each other and said what in the world did this child eat you know, so we asked her, and she goes, I had pizza, and I had, I don't remember what the soda was. Oh, Dr. Pepper, and we're like, yep, yeah, full of sugar and full of pizza. Yeah, she was full of energy. And we just looked at each other and just started laughing because she was, like, literally going 100 miles an hour. It was so cute. Well... Sort of, because my husband had to get up at 2 in the morning to go to work. Because since we've moved, now he has to go to work an hour early. So instead of leaving at 3 in the morning, he he now has to leave at 2 in the morning. So he's just like, that's your daughter. You got to deal with her. And I was like, yep, I know. So, yeah, it was it was fun, though. I mean, she had fun. She's made some friends, so that's really good. We knew she would. She was so scared. I'm not going to know anybody, and I'm not going to have any friends. And we kept telling her, you'll make friends. You'll get to know people. You know, it's it's scary at first, you know. But, it, you know, it's like going from, when we told her, she says, look, it's like going from grade school to junior high all over again, you know. Of course, she's in seventh grade, you know, but you know, still, it's just like moving, you know, new teachers, new friends, just look at it as a new adventure, you know, and she did, she, she's, I don't know what happened, like this child, we thought for sure she was going to be that outgoing cheerleader and because she loves gymnastics you know we she loves to be like that center of attention so we thought for sure she was you know but she's i don't know she's kind of gotten really shy don't know where that come from you know because she used to not be she was always that outgoing charismatic you know i mean don't get me wrong she still is but i guess at school she kind of shuts down a little bit but that's okay. We told her once she gets, you know, used to her new school, you know, she'll open up and they have uh, after school uh, clubs. So we told her, you know, there's a couple of them that we told her she should do. She wants to do art. So we told her, you know, when it opens up, you know, she can do art and cooking. They actually have cooking now. I'm glad that they brought that back. I remember that used to be 
something that you had to do. It was home ec, you know, where you learned how to sew and you learned how to cook and, you know, just your basic home life, you know, and, but yeah, they don't do that now, but they do have an after school program where they can, um, learn that. So she wants to do art. So we told her she could do that. And, um, they don't have music. I'm really surprised because she in her other school was in choir because she loves to sing and that child can sing. She got a beautiful voice when she doesn't think she's being recorded. When she gets recorded, then she gets scared and kind of shuts down a little bit. And it's like, ah, but when she's not being recorded or when she doesn't realize it, that child will just go she's just crazy beautiful voice but yeah so um mindy and i mindy's uh diamond moments her and i are going to do a collaboration in december and we've got something really fun planned out so be looking forward to that I'll put her link down below in um, the description if you are not subscribed to her you should check her out she is so much fun um, but yeah I'm excited for what we've got planned it's gonna be a lot of fun we both um, just got through doing you know, a couple of big giveaways, so, but we, we still got something fun planned for everyone, so definitely be on the lookout for that, because that's going to be in December, so I'll let you guys know more about that the closer um, it gets, but yeah, that's going to be fun. Trying to think what else has been going on. I mean, really not much of anything. Just me getting my house in order. It's definitely not a fast process. I have been pretty slow about it. I have gotten my kitchen mostly done. Um, my craft room mostly done. Everything's mostly done. It's not, there's not one room that is completely finished. It's just mostly done, you know. Uh, the painting I'm working on is the one that is for my dad uh, for Christmas. This is um, the one of him and my mama just before she passed away when they were kissing. So I got to get working on this so I can get working on the other one. So I can get them framed and get them mailed out to him because these are his Christmas gifts. So I've got to get my butt in gear and get them done. So it looks like it's going to be a few late nights for me. Just so that I can get them finished. But... There's something else I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I don't remember now. I hate that. You know, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to get on and do a whip and chat, you know, and this is what I want to talk about. And then I totally forget when I hit that record, it's like, D -d -d -d. I don't know, I forgot, you know. I hate that. I do that every time, and then I end up deleting the video, like, I don't know how many whipping or dill, yeah, dill, drill with me's I have done and I have completely deleted because I sat there going, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. You know, this is just stupid, you know, but yeah, you know, I don't know. I guess this time I'll just do it because I have been promising that I would so that I can show, um, Deep, some people's asked me to show them how to um, do the drill, and it really is like um, a paint by numbers. You know, only you're adding your drills 
to the numbers, if that makes any sense. You know, um, and it's really, I mean, there's no specific way, like, I mean, there's no wrong or right way to do it. I mean, you just kind of do it however you want to, what feels right. I mean, I normally, um, will just start, you know, like at the top and then work my way down to the bottom. This time I started at the bottom right and worked my way over. I, there really is no rhyme or reason to it. You just, I don't know, you just drill the way you want to drill, you know. You just want to make sure that you're putting the drills on the correct symbol that, you know, it belongs to. Um, I've learned that I love using my three-placer. I don't like using the multiple placers at all when I am doing the squares though. I absolutely hate the squares with um, the multi-placers. It just leaves so many bad gaps, you know. With the rounds, it's so easy to fix because I've got one of those big straighteners but with the squares, I don't know. It just leaves gaps, and I don't really like that. So I don't use a multi-placer with squares. But that's, you know, just my opinion. That's my preference. You can use whatever y'all want to use. I don't know if I've shown you this. I got this from, oh, is it Jim's? I don't know if I posted the video or not, of me opening it up or not. Um, I'll have to look. I'll leave a link. It's, um, his shop is on Etsy, and I'll leave a link, I don't know, down below in the description um, where I bought this. I have, haven't had any time to pull out any of my clay to make my own. I do plan on doing that, though, and showing you how I do it. Um, for those that... You know, want to. Someone asked me if I would sell them. I've never thought about doing it. Um, if I do, you know, I don't know. I mean, would you guys be interested in buying, you know, drill pins that I make? I don't know. Um, let me know down below if you are interested or would be interested in it. Um, but I definitely need definitely need to get my drills or my clay out. I've got most of it unpacked and sitting here. I just need to sit down and do it now, being that I've got it. But anywho. So right now I'm just in the grassy area of um, the bottom of, of the painting. So it's a lot and lot, a lot and lot, yeah, lot and lot. It's a lot of green, like different shades of green. This painting come from the pink raspberry. Um, I'll put their link down below um, and their, well, their Facebook link down below so that you can go and check them out if you would like to. I will give you all my full review once the painting is done. I'm not going to tell you if I like it or don't like it right now. Um... So when I do, you know, my post review, I will let you guys know everything then. Okay, okie dokie. But um, I do really like the colors, though. I mean, the colors are just amazing. I will tell you that. 
I'm enjoying the colors. But green is my favorite, so I'm going to be a little biased, you know. Let's see. I don't know. I did um, do a video of some sprouting mung beans. I did harvest them a day early just because I needed the um, bowl that I was using because I'm, I need to sprout some more for Thanksgiving and it does take seven days. Of course, I only did six days. You know, but you can actually harvest them whenever you want. And um, I'll explain that in the video. So, that should be either already up now or will be up here in the next day or so. It's probably up by now, though. Um... trying to think I've got a few um, diamond art club and uh, mystical diamond art uh, videos coming up I'm trying to think what else um, oh I don't know I've got I've got a lot of unboxings that I've done the videos it's just editing them now and posting them you know so a lot of my videos have either been recorded before I moved to this house some were recorded after but have been sitting there you know like waiting for me to edit them and then to upload them yeah so my videos are kind of all over the place right now so I apologize for that but it is what it is I you know, I'm doing what I can do when I can do it. I'm sure y'all know what it's like to be busy. Although, gosh, Amy from, um, well, I'll leave Amy's link down below too, as well as, uh, her Mystical Diamonds Arts, uh, link. That woman, I don't know how she does it. She is always so busy, but yet that woman has time to just knock things out. She plus full time school. I mean, oh, I envy her how she can just do all of that, be a full time mommy, full time school, own her own business, do all these different crafts. I mean, this woman, holy cow! I I, I had to ask her one time, like, when do you sleep? Like, seriously, it's oh, that woman, love her to death though. She is such a sweetheart. So definitely go and check her videos out she is so awesome she does a lot of different things um she does cross stitch she does beading cross stitch she does of course um diamond paintings she does day planners um crochet i mean this woman she's like me she's like a you know jack of all trades of crafts um speaking of jack of all trades Jack of all crafts, my twin. I haven't seen her post anything lately. I'll have to message her. I haven't talked to her in a couple of weeks, so I'll have to see what's going on up with her. You have to check her out too. She's got a couple of videos. Well, a few videos. But, um, in fact, I think she just did her giveaway, uh, because she hit. I believe her 200 subscribers so awesome I think it's so cool that was another thing I was gonna talk to you about speaking of sus subscribers um, I'm gonna start doing a, what do you call it a, a shout out once a week for anyone that because I have got wolf I don't know how many people I, I have subscribed to and a lot of them are under a hundred some are just not quite at 500 so what I'm gonna do is for anyone that is 500 and under I'm gonna do a shout out for and the only reason why I say 500 and under is because 
it's really hard to hit that 500 mark. I mean, it's and then it, of course it's hard to hit my thousand. I mean, I'm still trying to get my thousand, you know, but I might even do less than that, you know, and then maybe, you know, once a month I'll do the shout out for everybody, you know, maybe like, um, uh, Popple, I love her to death. I'll probably do something like what she does for everybody where once a month I'll say, okay, this is the video for y'all and then you can put down, you know, your channel name and what your channel is all about, what you do, you know, things like that. And then everyone can go and check y'all out and subscribe, you know. I think that's a really cool idea. But for those that have less people, I'm going to try to once a week and I'll do three or four people each time. And as I get more and more people, you know, then that's once a week I'll be posting. So I have found so many that have even less than a hundred and yet they have really good videos. So definitely um, I'm going to start doing that, but not until after the new year because I've already got so much going on right now. So starting January, I might even do it sooner. I might even do it, you know, like, um, the end of this month, you know, start in December or something, you know, I don't know. Um, we'll have to see, but yeah, so be watching out for those because I will be doing those as well. Um, I'm trying to think, I'm going to try to once a week do my cooking on my stove. Um, my wood burning stove. I'm going to uh, make that like a little series on my channel. Um, so that's going to be fun. But um, I don't know when I'm going to start that. Probably again, not until after the holidays. I don't know. We'll see. You know, maybe. The series will start. I mean, I've kind of started, but, you know, I want to at least do, you know, once a week, you know. So that's that's my plan is to start getting everything organized and saying, okay, Mondays, this will be this, Tuesdays, Wednesday, you know, so on and so forth. Do I do lives? No, I don't. I have tried to do lives um, on my webcam and it just comes out horrible. So until I hit that thousand and I'm able to go live that is just where it's gonna be you know because like I said I've tried to do lives with my webcam and it just doesn't work it lags really bad and it just looks horrible so um, I mean I can try again last time I tried I couldn't even see what anyone was saying I'm like well that kind of defeats me doing lives, if I can't see what anyone's typing, then I have no idea what people are saying. I can't respond. So, yeah. So, I've not been it. So, I yeah, I haven't been able to do any lives in quite a while. Um, but then again, I've only done a couple of lives. And, yeah, they were okay. But... Anywho, how long have I been doing this? Oops. How long have I been talking? Wow, a half hour. So I'm going to let you guys go. So I have sat here and chitter-chattered about a whole lot of nothing, haven't I, for a half hour. Crazy, crazy. So I hope you all had all of your projects out, whatever craft you're working on, whether you're crocheting or diamond painting. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask me, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. Or you can email me. All of my information to get a hold of me is down below in the description box. So, yeah, if you don't want to leave it in the comments, go ahead and uh, email me. 
But I will let you guys go. I hope you have a wonderful day or night, whatever time it is that you're watching this. If you would like a more detailed, um, what do you call it, a uh, tutorial, um, let me know and I'll do a more detailed tutorial. You know, maybe make it, I don't know, a couple of, you know, like how I kit up and things like that. You know, give it, I don't know, let me know down below if you'd like to see more or something like that. But I think that is it. I will let you guys go. I love you all. And don't forget to always smile. Hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed. Hit that little notification bell. Hit that thumbs up or down up to you and leave me a comment i love you guys bye bye